Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing some Boosted. And for once, there we are no rules. We just play Boosted. Everybody's allowed to go for whatever broken stuff they want to do. Because I just wanted to play some Boosted. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. Okay, we got ourselves Dawn Breaker. We're gonna go out and break the Dawn. Or is she... A breaker from the dawn? I'm not entirely sure what she breaks or where the dawn is, but either way, we're gonna go out and dawn break some things. Uh, I'm thinking we can go like star breaker shenanigans. Luminosity is always fun. Uh, luminosity is great if you just kind of make it attacks required one and then you just like spam it. We might also be able to increase how many um, star breaker charges we have. Right? Like, wait, isn't there something dawn breaker? Starbreaker. Isn't there a way to get a second Starbreaker charge? No, minus five second cooldown. Okay. So I guess that talent got removed. We'll see what we get. Honestly, there's no hard theme for this lobby. Instead, we're just gonna go ahead and take upgrades as they pop up. Although I'm looking to upgrade Luminosity. I have been watching TI all day. We've watched 10 games of TI already. And uh, after this game is done, we're gonna watch some more TI. Uh, <laughs> it's just like... Just TI City, I gotta tell you. Um, I was just kind of like looking where I could see if, if y'all are uh, on the same page if it comes to like what the TI meta game is though. Because something that's important to me is I'm trying to figure out like what is the meta game? What makes this TI distinct? And um, I'm just kind of looking to hear like what other people think. Now, let's maybe, like, let me tell you my impression first, because I think what you guys will say will immediately, immediately differentiate, be very different from what I have in mind. Uh, also, what do we want? Self-stun duration. Why would I want that? <laughs> that seems bad. And I think swipe slow. Hammer damage. Oh, we can make the hammer. That sounds kind of fun. What if we make the hammer really, really strong? Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, sorry. So, my perception of this TI, what its meta is, is that it's about timings. It is a game of timings. Much more so than previous years even. Now, last TI and the year before that was very much about Roshan. And it was, uh, like, I guess, Roshan timings. But this year is all about lots and lots of different timings. You have to keep the... Um, Lotus pools in mind, you have to keep the runes, the wisdom runes in mind, the other runes in mind, you need to keep torment in mind, Aghanim's shard, Roshan, all of those things. There's a million timings and a million objectives on the map. So what happens is that teams farm and then pretty much on a schedule they go fight each other. So they will farm, farm, farm and then, oh, Tormentor timings. Okay, let's see if we can contest something. They will farm, farm, farm. Oh, uh, jungle, you know, stacks timings, right? Because right now we've managed to get ourselves a, a big stack in the engine. Let's see if we can go ahead and contest what they've got going on. We've got farm, farm, farm. Oh, Roshan time. Let's go kill Roshan. And so there's lots and lots of objectives around the map now that are all kind of independent from like the main objective of the ancient, right? Like main objective of killing the base. And it's all about using those objectives to the best of your ability to then also uh, build an advantage through those objective fights. And then eventually you kill your opponent because you're just kind of bigger than them. That would be my personal assessment of stuff right now. Oh, let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Heal radius, hammer damage. I'm getting so much hammer damage. I don't even know if I want hammer damage. No, I think creep heal penalty healing from heroes heal radius man I'm really unsure what to go for here um, well let's just get allied healing percent is this what this is I get allies are healed for 50% of the amount and I get how much do I get healing from heroes that's what I need to upgrade okay healing from heroes All right, that's the one that we want because by upgrading healing from heroes, we upgrade our healing in general. I am so dead. Yup. That hurts. That is really, really scary. Um, heal righties, heal purples. Wow, there's so many upgrades. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? 
Uh, critical strike damage. That sounds fun too. All right. About Sweet Dreams, Alex, I have to say, I really do love it. It's super fun, relaxing, chill, and absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's good. That always makes me happy to hear. Oh, come in here. Oh, I missed that one, didn't I? Yeah. Juggernaut is just so scary. Sap? Sap? Mmm, Ward's nice. Let's go. Let's go. I think the meta is around farm denier. So the main strat has been one position one, farming the position five. And then position five, four, two, try to deny area, area of the position three, farming the other side of the map and moving around a three man death squad. And so most games come down to which carry gets more space out of the lane. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of that, right? The map is so big that the position ones are just kind of like... I've seen a lot of position ones just hiding in this jungle. They're just like always hiding down here and farming. There's definitely a certain element of that. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, let's get more critical strike damage. Probably. Maybe we could have gotten the healing from heroes. I don't know. I need to get the damage thing that... Um... Oh, no. I need to reduce the number of hits. If I can find that. I mean, so far we haven't found it. But, like, if I can get it, that would be great. Alright, let's pick this up. With the Aghanim Shard, we gain the debuff immunity during... The, we get BKB during the... Uh, star... What's it called? Starbreaker? Yeah, that seems like it would be a good effect to have. Alright, pick this up. Alright. Burn these guys. Thank you, friends. That seems good. Critical strike damage. Yes. I mean, maybe we just build a lot of attack speed. Who knows? Hey. Hello. Look at me. I die. <laughs> I think that was worth it. We got two kills, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. I think the Juggernaut got a couple hits in before we died, though, right? Yeah. Well, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. Oh, also Silver Edge is still like the big old guns. I mean, if it comes to heroes, I've really enjoyed the meta, like the hero meta, right? Like, again, I'm always interested more in the like bigger overarching meta, but I find the hero meta to be kind of fun because there's just like, there's so much weird shit and I enjoy that. That's just, that's just great. Also, this Juggernaut is terrifying. Please help. Oh, no. Okay, I need one hit. Good. 700 damage. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Whew. Critical strike damage. I mean, let's just kind of keep bringing up the critical strike damage, right? <laughs> I do need some actual damage, though, to be able to use it. That's definitely a problem right now. We hit really, really hard with it, but I don't actually have any damage. So it doesn't really matter that it hits really hard. Okay, coming in here. Ooh, let's go away. Nice. What a fast hex. Absolutely sick. <laughs> yeah, we have some damage now. It's not a lot, but like, honestly, even a tiny bit with how big our crit is goes a really long way. Allied healing percent, critical strike damage. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's get that up. Critical strike damage, that seems good. No subathon this time around, right? Yeah, because, you know, the TI is split up across three weeks. Like, it's just kind of difficult to really fit a subathon into that that makes sense. Like, I honestly, I like the schedule. I think, like, as a viewer, that schedule makes a lot more sense. But as somebody who's also willing to go to absurd extremes just for the sake of a meme, um, kind of a shame. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, let's take down these. And... Do I upgrade this? I think I might actually just go for a Desolator first. Like, let's just hit harder. Hit them hard. Look at that, 1,200 damage. That's what I like to see. Uh, creep heal penalty. I want to reduce that, right? Healing from heroes? Ah, let's just get that. I don't think I care about the creep thing too much. If I'm completely honest. 
Because, like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we just want to be attacking and, you know, attacking heroes, really. Ideally. So I don't think it's that important. You know what? I'm really proud of everything you've accomplished. You've truly grown over the past few years and you have put in so much work and it really shows. It's really paid off. And now, all there's left to do is leave a like on the video and then everything will be great. Good luck with the future, my friend. All right. I don't know if we can actually downgrade the number of hits. I mean, there's a level 20 talent for it. So in theory? But maybe it's been removed. Who knows? Let's increase the critical strike damage. Let's increase the critical strike damage. There's a tusk. I don't know if I have enough. I mostly just don't have any sort of way to <laughs> disable, but I guess... I guess it's not needed. We just bonk him down. We just bonk him and then he dies. That's all that matters. Got another clarity, so we've got some healing. Thank you very much. Extra mana is always good. Healing from heroes. Heal radius. Yeah, sure. Why not get more healing from heroes? Uh, I would like to come in here and bonk somebody. This guy looks quite bonkable, doesn't he? But I don't think I even need my crit. Oh! Oh, the Dazzle, though. Yeah, I have seen this guy be a carry. Which is some illegal behavior. Alright. Let's increase this. Let's increase this. Oh no, I missed! Wait, wait, I gotta go up, I gotta go up. Come on, yes! <laughs> oh, and it saved my team too. Now that was a good heal, right? Hey, we just, we just bonk him down. It gets there every time. Alright, I have... I need, like, one more hit. Oh, it wasn't enough! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that would kill him. I was certain that would kill him. But I guess not. We probably need an MKB just because people are gonna buy evasion or have, like, you know, some sort of mischance. Heal radius, allied healing percentage, creep health penalty. Let's run, run, run. Oh, hello. No, I missed! Oh. That's not good. My god, I hate that. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, we did hit him. We did get that guy. Critical strike damage. Echo Saber is probably a good idea because we have not had any luck at reducing this. Reducing how many hits we need. So an Echo Saber is probably a fine, fine way to just compensate for that. Luminosity attacks required. Thank you for that Aghanim Scepter, my friend. And we'll get the heal radius. Shot cast point. Oh shit, why not? Uh, ultimate? Probably, right? Oh, I have my Aghanim Scepter right now. I don't even know if I want that. Nice. Oh, I'm hexed though. That's not good. That's no good. Dazzle scare. Oh! <laughs> Talking about scary. Oh, Juggernaut. Look who's here. Look who's here. And he's had enough. He's had enough of these shenanigans. The good news is, when I get my crit, I heal my team to full HP. So I feel good about that. Oh, 
Alright. Evasion percent. Hmm. Combo duration. So if I reduce this, will my... Will this be faster? How does that work? Like, there's two possibilities. Well, three possibilities. Either it does nothing, it will be faster, or it breaks. <laughs> I don't know. Kav looks a little broken, if I'm completely honest. Alright, let's just, let's just try this out on something. Who's that? Dazzle, okay. Well, my problem right now is I don't have this charged up. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna happen, right? That's just gonna happen. Unfortunately, the Juggernaut is brutal. Healing from heroes. Swipe, smash, radius. What if I make it really big? Like, I feel like I actually have enough damage because we can kill things, right? So maybe it's better to start going for the Stormbreaker stuff. Hmm. Eating from heroes evasion percent. I don't know. Okay. Next hit is a kill. Yup. One, two. Next hit is a kill. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess I wasn't... I guess I wasn't wrong. I just wasn't right about doing the hitting. Uh, hey... Oh, radius, I guess? I'm really not sure what I should be upgrading. I think I'll just get, like... I don't know. The problem is you can't really protect yourself from the Juggernaut because he just got two Omni Slashes and they will both kill. So maybe the right play is to just ignore him. Like, yeah, we'll die to Juggernaut, but... You know, I can make sure we don't die to everybody else. And I think that's probably the way to go. Because I don't see us preventing the death to Juggernaut. That's just not happening. I mean, the only play we really have, I think, is we need to just kill him before he kills us. And the only way to do that is by hexing him. We just need to kill him that way. Lotus Orb, it's just not actually that good. I mean, like, it would help a little bit, but then afterwards we're still right next to a Juggernaut, and that wouldn't be great. So, it's tricky. So if I go shorter combo, I'm really unsure if that's any good. Are we still getting the full hits? Maybe? Um. Well, we have a we have a kill queued up. <laughs> So that worked. Nice. Grab these. Uh, there's a situation here. Wait, you're dead and I can still warp in on you? No. Okay. Yeah, that would have surprised me, I gotta be honest. That seems like it shouldn't work that way. And I mean, it doesn't, so... Alright, we run, run, run. Just looking for a chance, looking for an opportunity. I mean, this is not the best target. Ugh. Oops. Yep, we did. It didn't kill. So, we don't deal enough damage right now. I mean, we gotta at least kill. That's, that's, I mean, that's just a core component. If we can't even do that, then we're in trouble. Return, uh, distance, whatever. I don't even know what half of these mean, if I'm completely honest. Like, there's just some wild stuff in there. Hey, Big Mad Sad, thanks for the 25 months, my friend. 
That's very much appreciated. I think we just get more critical strike damage. That's probably best. Critical strike damage and swipe damage, right? Travel speed. Swipe smash bonus damage. Critical strike damage. Is this probably more damage right now? I'm not entirely sure. So. To win, we need to cheese. To cheese. Uh, we, we, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that one. But we kill this guy. I think that's, that's definitely step one. We have Acid Spray. That's actually kind of a big deal. The Alchemist, right? Yep, that's not good. Alright, we got this one. Hmm. Yes. The sky moves. Oh. You do. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I felt I felt like I was being so clever. I right, get the critical strike damage for what it's worth. I mean, we did, at the very least, manage to kill the Dazzle. Can you still buy tickets? Yeah, I just haven't been doing it. Because we aren't at infinite money just yet. Ooh. <gasps> is it enough? No, it's not enough. Of course it's not enough. That is enough? No, of course it's not enough. <laughs> I was hoping it could come in and hex as a follow-up, but... Juggernaut is just way too strong. Look at this. He doesn't even have any damage items, really. Doesn't need them. Doesn't need them. So we need to figure out a way around the Juggernaut, then. How do we win? Problem is that we are just, like, way too honest a hero. Our entire approach is just to, like, actually get close and hit them. And that's going to be, like, nearly impossible against the Juggernaut, right? How do we actually get close enough to hit him? And everybody is just buying lots and lots of defensive stuff now. <sighs> and Aeon Disc, as you saw, it's just not actually good enough. It's just not good enough. He will just immediately, like, he will just keep bouncing and then kill you anyway. I guess I can kill this guy at least. I'm not sure what I do with him, but I guess he's dead. Strike damage. I could turn myself into like a UFO again. It's probably not a good idea, but I could do it. Mm hmm There we go. Oh, I got Hex down. Alright, Aegis. Oh! <laughs> so many Aeon Discs! <sighs> Damage alone is just not cutting it. Damage alone is absolutely not cutting it. I mean, I can, I can try to make this... this bigger, but it just... Does it help? I mean, it's really all we've got. This right here is good. Alright. Alright, you know what? I just don't actually think we have anything else we can even try. Like, we've had some fun with our... Oh my god, do we win? No way. No, not yet. But one cast will do it, right? So we just need to protect our Shadow Shaman. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, time duration. Oh, that's the wrong one. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the one we're looking for. Um, evasion up. Of course. Critical strike against heroes. Well, run, run, run. It's just hard to get through, but we have the alchemist, so that's good. Uh, so we have 120% evasion, that's fine. We don't care about this. Yeah, airtime scepter, movement speed. Wait, that's not right. But like, I guess it's not useful as well. Uh, pink. Mm-hmm. Fusk. Just got an A on disc as well, so I'm not getting through. I mean, I guess that's probably an argument for saying I should get rid of, like, Desolator. Because we won't actually be able to kill anything either way. We do want to keep a bit of damage. Just in case. Alright, there's Alchemist. No point. No point. We need to just protect the Shadow Shaman. Uh, I am trying to... Come on. Come on, move. Got him. Got him. I killed him. I killed the fucking Juggernaut. Nice. Double kill. Okay. Okay. This is it. This is the moment. Puck is dead too. Shadow Shaman's still alive. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Well, we're giga hexed, but that's okay. As long as the Shadow Shaman can get past. Come on. Buddy, no! <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't it wasn't bad. It was not bad. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Bonus airtime. Yeah, if I get bonus airtime, I can increase. I can increase how long I'm in the air. Which can potentially help us um, by protecting the um, the Shadow Shaman. All right. Got a couple of these. No, I don't care about channel time. Uh, airtime duration isn't bad, I guess it's something. Are we looking? Waiting for Aeon Disk? Going? Alright, I'm just trying to keep him alive. And, and... The wards! Just keep him busy, just keep him busy! Just keep him busy! And, hey, we did it. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that was the only way we win. But sometimes you just take whatever you can do, right? You gotta win. That's what it's about. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh man, the lighting in here is kind of bad. Let me fix that a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. Look, the lighting is better now. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.